Here's an interesting integral. I'm adding up the area under the sine function all the way off to x equals infinity. And I can see what's going to happen here, that I end up with a little bit of positive area at first. And then I'm going to add a little bit of negative area, and I'm going to get back to a total signed area of 0 by the time I get here. And then I'm going to have a little bit of positive area and negative area and get back to a total signed area of 0 again. So the area under this curve is just fluctuating all the time, and it's never going to settle down to one set number. And so I would have to say this integral diverges or that the, the limit doesn't exist. So let's go ahead and look at this as a limit. It's the limit as t goes to infinity. Integral 0 to t. Sine x dx. And I guess the antiderivative. So I have the limit as t goes to infinity. Negative cosine x evaluated from 0 to t. And that gives me the limit as t goes to infinity negative cosine of t plus a cosine of 0. And I could clean it up a little bit, maybe. Applying the limit to each of these terms, I have negative limit as t goes to infinity, cosine, cosine of t plus a limit as t goes to infinity of cosine of 0, which is just 1. And the limit of a constant is just that constant. So now I can get clarity on this, this problematic piece right here. The limit as t goes to infinity of cosine of t. For the limit to exist, this thing has to settle down to a single number when t becomes large. But the cosine function just keeps oscillating between negative 1 and 1. So because I'm not getting close to one set number as t gets large. I know this limit doesn't exist. And I could say that the improper integral diverges.